fellow makeup enthusiasts, welcome back to my perfectly healthy expression of makeup enthusiasm. My name is Lainey and today I'm reviewing the entire Melt Radioactive Collection. This has been sitting on my kitchen table since yesterday evening. I got this kind of late in the day because I got home a little bit late in the day and I felt like it was too late to start filming. So I've been itching to get into this. It's about seven o'clock in the morning as I'm filming this because I could not wait. Look at this collection. I mean, I almost feel like I just got PR, but I didn't. I paid $99 for this. It is on the website. It says it's a $130 value. You get the palette, you get two blushes, and you get two liquid lipsticks. Let's open her up. <laughs> giant version of the palette. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, and this could hang on the wall like a poster. And then the other side looks like this. This is so freaking cute. Now let's get into the ha. Now let's get into the real stuff. Palette first. Let's be honest, we all want to see the palette. And this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and get rid of the condom and throw caution to the wind. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So bright. So happy. This speaks to me. Yes, I love you too. Do you guys want to see swatches? I would want to see some swatches, so I'm going to do them really quickly. And something that I noticed while I was doing the swatches, as I touched neon, arsenic, and uranium, there was a little bit of glitter that started peeking through. So these all seem like matte shades, but there's a little bit of glitter in this one, this one, and this one. And I should also note that I consulted the website, and this shade, uranium, is not vegan. Melt is a cruelty-free brand. Most of their products are vegan, but this particular shade, for whatever reason, is not vegan, just so you know. And because this is a first impressions video, I'm going to do one look on this eye, a different look on this eye. For this eye, I'm going to do what I call Laney eyes. This is my easy go-to look that I do when I'm in a hurry. So I'm going to go from yellow to orange to pink to dark purple. That's just the easiest look for me to crank out and Melt actually put all of those shades in this palette. So good on you, Melt. Oh, and I'm using this little cheap ass Ulta sponge tip applicator because I don't know why, but I feel like this is going to work really well with these neon shadows, but I could be wrong. And for hazmat, I'm going to use the Sigma E20. This is my favorite brush for doing a wing, and that's what I'm going to do because that's what I like to do. Okay, let's slow this down and address the elephant in the room. Hazmat is indeed patchy. That's not uncommon for purples. I might forgive it, but yeah, you can see that this is going on not the best. All right, I feel like Radioactive got lost a little bit, and she is the title shade in this palette, so let's make her a little bit more intense. And then I'm taking this teeny tiny Sigma E36 brush, and I'm gonna try to get these to blend a little bit better. And I feel like it needs something on top, so I'm taking Uranium, and I'm just gonna go over the rainbow with it. In the mirror, I can definitely see some shimmer. I'm not sure if it's reading on camera. Uranium is definitely helping hazmat, but it is also shearing it out just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna take Xenon and Arsenic and go underneath the lower lash line. This is a Suva 630 liner brush. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm gonna have to get a lot closer to the mirror to do this. And that's one eye done. I'm gonna do something funky with the eyeliner. Just wait for that. 
And you know what? I'm really liking the way this is looking and I do have things to do today. So I'm gonna do both eyes like this. Sorry, scrapping my plans in the middle of the video. That's what I always do. Um, the only shade that I'm neglecting is Meltdown. And so what I'll do is I'll do like a two or three looks with this palette at a later date. Lashes are on. These are the Huda Beauty Easy Lashes in the style Camille. I have rode these hard and put them up wet and they're I wouldn't say they're on their last leg, but they're clearly a little bit dirty. And I used an older pair of lashes because I'm not sure how this eyeliner is going to work. It may be a dumpster fire, and in case it is a dumpster fire, I didn't want to ruin a new pair of lashes. In my waterline, I used Kat Von D's Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade LUV. I love using lip liner in my waterline. I've been doing that for years. I've never had a problem, so... I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick as eyeliner on my upper lash line. Now I know that Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick formula is the only one that's approved for use on the eyes. I'm taking a chance. Of course, a lot of pressed pigments are not approved for use on the eyes. In fact, hang tight. Even though this is called a pressed pigment palette, on the website, it only specifies that radioactive, radon, and hazmat are not FDA approved for use on the eyes. So everything else is actually okay according to the FDA to use on, on your eyes. I've never had a problem using pressed pigments on my eyes. Lots of people never have a problem using pressed pigments, but sometimes people have reported irritation. Staining is the obvious undesirable outcome for some people, I don't care, but some people do experience irritation, so I wanted to make sure that I said that. Anyway, speaking of approval for use on the eyes, I'm gonna use the liquid lipstick in the shade aut Autonomous. <laughs> no, aut atomic. Good grief, I can't speak. This is why I shouldn't film early in the morning. This is the purple shade. I'm gonna use this as eyeliner, and we're gonna see how it goes. Oh, dude. This smells like buttercream frosting. Oh my gosh, that's great. Obviously, I could have done a better job with that application, but I feel like you get the idea. I think this looks cool, as long as it doesn't smear throughout the day and as long as it doesn't irritate my eyes, which it's not so far. I'm happy with this and I will do this again. Anyway. This is the finished eye look. Let's play with the blushes. And I definitely want to play with the purple first because I've been into strange blush lately. I don't know why. I tried the weird yellow blush trend and I really liked it. So I'm into funky blush now. Who'd have thunk it? Okay. Oh, damn it. Look at this shit. Oh my God. Damn it. Well, that's not happening. And it spilled all over my beautiful palette. God damn it, Melt. Pack your shit better. All right, I took a chill pill. I consulted the website. Apparently they have a good return policy. So this is going back. They better replace it. I feel like they will. I feel like it's a good company. So I'm trusting them. Okay, I'm opening the orange one very, very carefully. Okay. Whew, this one's fine. So you have these three colors. You have this really dark orange, this brighter orange, and then you have a white. And I think the premise is that you're supposed to swirl your brush in there and get all of the colors on the brush. Let me swatch the three tones. Are they showing up? Damn, I just swatched over my eyeshadow swatches. I'm failing at life. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so that dark orange really shows up. I feel like this would be a really fun color for a blush, and I think this is more of a highlighter, but we're just gonna try it and see how it looks. I do have a little bit of face makeup on, but my blush is really light, so I feel like this is popping enough that it's gonna cover it up. Ooh, and I'm gonna try my brand new brushes from Glamier. This is so messy. I don't store my brushes properly. I'm so sorry. But I heard about these from Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and she was talking about them having shorter handles and being small so maybe they're better for detail work, better if you have a little bit smaller face. So I really was interested in these. So I'm going to grab 
this guy right here and I'm gonna try to use this for the blushes so that I feel like this is gonna give me a little bit more precision because I really wanna focus on this shade and pull in just a little bit from the other ones. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, I like that. I feel like the purple would have complemented this eye look better, but it's busted. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques oval brush to try to get a better blend going. This is getting really close to being a finished look. I am taking the hot pink lipstick. The shade is called Super Heat. And I know that this doesn't really go with the blush, but I feel like it does go with the eyeshadow. You know what? That broken purple blush just fucked me. And both of these liquid lipsticks do have blue reflect in them, so I'm hoping that that might help them not make my teeth look so yellow because a lot of times I avoid this shade and I avoid purples because they make my teeth look yellow and I'm sensitive about that. And it's all coming back to me now. These Melt Liquid Lipsticks smell amazing. Like I said, they smell like buttercream frosting, but when they go on, they feel a little bit slippery. It reminds me of the Sugar Pill Liquid Lipstick in the sense that the, just the slippery feeling. I'm tripping over my words. That slippery feeling that you get when you put it on initially. I'm gonna do a little bit of a popsicle lip. I'm gonna grab the purple. Again, the purple shade is called Atomic. The hot pink shade is called Super Heat. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm going to use some lip gloss. I feel like I need a little bit of a gloss over this. I'm using Jeffree Star's lip gloss in the shade Wet Peach. And I'm not sure that the gloss helped the look, but it definitely helped the feel. So that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna go put some proper clothes on and give you my final thoughts. So here I am, ready to face the world with my radioactive makeup. Speaking of radioactive, has anybody watched Chernobyl on HBO? It's a mini-series. It's very historically accurate. It was the most riveting thing I think I've ever seen in my life. It terrified me to the core, but I thought it was brilliant. I actually watched it twice. That was about all I could do. Usually if I really love something, I watch it more than twice, but that two, two times that was enough for me. It was a lot, but oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. So good, I can't recommend it enough. The acting is beautiful, the story is historically accurate, it's a little bit gross, it's extremely disturbing, but oh man, it hits you right here, so good. Oh, and before I forget, let me show you what this makeup looks like without my YouTube lighting. So this is what it looks like in just normal room lighting. I have a window about 10 feet away from me. I have an overhead light going and that's it. No soft boxes, no ring light. And I feel like the makeup still shows up, but I definitely feel like taking away the YouTube lighting takes it down a couple of notches. So let me go ahead and wrap up my thoughts on this collection. First of all, I need to break down the individual items by price. I should have done that as I was going along. I was just so excited to get into it. I completely forgot. I probably should have said the individual prices before I even got into the package, but I was too excited. So anyway, the palette itself is $48. That is the same price as the Smokestack palette, Smokestacks palette, the eight pan green toned like pot palette. Um, the blushes are $22 a piece. Same price as the regular blushes on the Melt website. The lipsticks are $19 a piece. Again, the same price as the regular liquid lipsticks on the Melt website. And as of now, this is September the 12th, only the palette is available at Sephora. Everything else you have to order through the Melt website. And as usual, I feel like I'm forgetting to divulge some bit of crucial information. If I am forgetting anything, if you have any questions, just post them down below. I'm a teeny tiny microscopic channel, so I read and respond to all of my comments. I will be happy to answer your questions. So that wraps it up for today. As always, thank you so very much for joining me. Follow me on Instagram. I will follow you back. 
Throw me a pity like, give me some encouragement to make some more videos. If you liked what you saw here, if you think I've got potential, go ahead and subscribe. I have oodles of content planned for the very, very near future. Very special shout out to you if you are watching this video on the toilet. And until next time, stay adorably obsessed with whatever brings you joy.